unboxing the NZXT Relay. If you guys wanna check out this exact same headset, there's Amazon links below, but let's get this unboxed. Opening up the top, I like the purple. Looks like we got a purple cardboard box inside. Looks so clean, that is such a clean color. Let's get this open. And then there is the headset itself. It kind of is giving me Sony vibes. Like this definitely looks like a Sony headset. First impressions, I love this design. I think it's really clean. It's just flat on that side, it slightly goes in, but it's actually a really modern design. I love the brass there. Brass also for the microphone. You have the NZXT logos on the left and right. The metal here is actually curved over. So it starts flat here and then it comes over. That's gonna actually add quite a bit of structural rigidity Plus, this is just actually really, really thick. Thicker than your average headset, feels really good. These don't wiggle too much. The adjustability feels pretty nice. Good tactility, this feels like a pretty nice headset. I like the band over top. The inside has a lot of padding on it. The pads in here are nice and plush. The only thing that worries me is not too much like side to side action, like at all. These don't really go side to side, so the seal could be interesting, we'll see. All right, but finishing up the unboxing, we got this box in here. And in here we've got some, look at that. That's a weird way of packaging it, but all right. Looks like we've got the mic in here. So there is the mic. That's what it looks like. Pop that back on and pop it on there. So you can see there is the mic jack and plugging it in. Yeah, looks really good. Is a little floppy, but still stays in place enough. It just kind of reverts back if it's too crazy. So that's okay. And then what is this? Okay, so this is like a USB to 3.5, which I like. We've got a splitter in there, and then we've got a braided cable, which feels pretty good. Feels like a pretty average braided cable. This is cool. Maintaining that design, uh, which not all companies do. This is not just an infinite scroll wheel. This does have like an end, which I do like. Uh, and it has more than your average resistance for these types of wheels, but still could be a little bit heavier. You have your nice mute switch there. And then it's actually has a pretty decently sized clip, which is nice. So yeah, overall, I like it. Again, if you wanna check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you wanna check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.